NZV England in a nutshell. All you need to know from day one in Auckland. Highlights from day one of the first test between New Zealand and England Highlights from day one of the first test between New Zealand and England. England's bid to rally from their ashes drubbing came off the rails in just 20. Four overs as they were shot out for a paltry 58 by New Zealand. On day one of the first test at Eden Park, it took an heroic 33 not out by Craig Overton to rescue England. In part, from 27 to 9 but by stumps. The Black Caps were streaking ahead on 175 to 3. Scorecard, BROAD's 400th wicket. England were bowled out for just 58 as Trent Bolt and Tim Southey produced a swing bowling. Master class in the first session of the day-night test in Auckland. Writes Sam Drury. Moment of the day. For pure sporting history. Rod's 400th test wicket should get the nod. The Nottinghamshire seamer reaching the milestone. When he had Tom Latham caught at mid-wicket. But for the sheer eye-catching. Spectacular nature of the catch. Kane Williamson's one-handed effort in the gully takes some beating. Williamson produces a moment of magic in the field to dismiss Stuart Broad. Williamson produces a moment of magic in the field to dismiss Stuart Broad. The black cap skipper took off to his left, not in dissimilar fashion to Ben Stokes in the gully during Broad's mesmeric 2015 Ashes spell at Trent Bridge to grab a breathtaking catch. Broad was on the receiving end this time as the batsman dismissed and couldn't help but grin ruefully as he trudged away to the pavilion. New Zealand vs. England live on. England were dismissed for their sixth lowest total, and their lowest against New Zealand. The tourists became just the fifth side to be bowled out within the first session of a test. It was their third shortest all-out test innings in terms of overs, lasting just 20. Four overs. Watch England's collapse in the first session on day one. Watch England's collapse in the first session on day one. Overton scored 56. 90% of England's total, the second highest percentage in test history by anyone batting at eight or lower in a completed innings. Five England batsmen were dismissed for ducks, equaling their most ever in a test innings. What they said, England coach Trevor Bayliss. I think it must have been a mental thing. Our feet looked like they had lead in them and we didn't make too many right decisions with our footwork. We got caught behind the crease to fairly full balls, which allows the ball to swing and then we were nowhere. We looked a little bit like rabbits in the headlights. Quote, Trevor Bayliss says England's players looked leaden footed. Trevor Bayliss says England's players looked leaden footed. Sky Sports Cricket's Mike Atherton. It's a terrible day for England. I thought New Zealand were wonderful this morning, especially the new ball bowler's manipulation of the ball through the air. The catching was fantastic too, but England were inept with a bat. When England bowled Australia out for 60 at Trent Bridge in the 2015 Ashes, it was on a pitch that had a big, thick carpet of grass. The ball nipped around and you could see why a team could be skittled on a morning like that. I don't think there is that excuse here today. There was some swing, but England's footwork was rusty. To be kind, and non-existent if you're being critical. Quote, New Zealand's Trent Bolt. Probably not in our wildest dreams did we think we would win the toss and get them out in the first session. The main thing was trying to pitch the ball up trying to get the ball moving as much as we could, and giving it the best chance to swing. I don't think it swung that much. The cliché of it just doing enough is pretty much what happened. Quote, Tweets of the day. Wow, WASNT expecting to wake up to that Charlotte Edwards. At Lottie 2323. March 22, 2018. England's scorecard. Naughty Ali Martin. At cricket underscore alley, March 22, 2018. Obviously a very poor day for England but let's not let that overshadow a huge achievement from. At Stuart Broad 8. Congrats on wicket number 400. Hashtag legend Matt Pryor. At Matt Prior 13. March 22, 
2018. England's batting clearly the problem today. But how can you have a four-man seam attack all bowling the same pace? England have Mark Wood. Why is and he in the team? They admitted after the ashes they needed someone different. Hashtag NZVNG Michael Vaughn. At Michael Vaughn. March 22, 2018. Watch. BROAD's 400. A look back at some of Stuart Broad's best test moments. A look back at some of Stuart Broad's best test moments.